Okay, speaking about delays, let's turn this off and head to next part. That is actually delay. And the first, there's a digital delay. And next we have a tape delay. you can run all these are uh, at five second delay I think it is okay next up an analog delay Okay, the difference between all these, uh, the di digital delay is supposed to retain the original uh, tone and signal from the guitar. Uh, and the other two are making slight variations when uh, the repeats come. Uh, so, yeah, you just have to choose what kind of tone you want on the repeats. Uh, uh, the tape delay colors it a bit and the analog delay even adds a, some kind of slight chorus effect actually. It's hardly hearable. Okay, next up is, since we're in stereo, uh, it's the ping pong delay. Well, if you heard that in stereo, it was jumping around from left to right. Uh, okay, that's the simple part of the delay. Uh, let's go to the next effect part. That's reverb. And I've been using it at this setting now. Let's try them all out from the beginning till end. First we have a whole reverb and here it's again the mix of the effect and next is the decay, it's basically the length of the reverb. <laughs> okay, first we have a whole reverb. <laughs> Next we have a room reverb. Next something that's supposed to emulate a spring reverb. That's what you usually find in an amplifier. And last uh, arena reverb. So that's the biggest one of them all. Uh, oh, that wasn't lost. There's one more actually. The opposite of the arena reverb. It's a tile tile room. Okay, that's it. We've gone through every single part of this pedal. 
hope you found this useful. Uh, and as I said, uh, this is a really inexpensive one. Uh, it costs less than most single effect pedals actually. And if you buy this used, this is uh, an old version. It probably costs as much as a Happy Meal or something. I don't know. It's really cheap, I suppose. And it really works. I've used it a lot and I like it. Um, and not for the price, not just for the simplicity of it, actually. It's made of plastic, but I've used this in several continents, actually. It's traveled with me around the world. And it's still like brand new. So don't be afraid of the plastic. Okay, this has been the Swedish Guitar Nerd uh, demoing instead of reviewing a uh, Zoom G1 multi-effect pedal and I hope I'll see you soon. Bye.